it's relevant also that it's understood the difference between the social economy and the social entrepreneurship because it's substantially different in Poland. As for social economy, it's the economy based on solidarity, which is constitutionally defined as a social market economy. While the social entrepreneurship, it's representing the vehicle of the solidarity system that people, individuals, groups of people, or in some way, like gatherings of people or entities that cross-sectorally intervenes in society are applying on society. So de facto, by regulation and general indicators, we can see that the cooperation has levels of grassroots and top-down systems. They work pretty nicely. Um, something that is maybe a bit different um, when it comes to when it comes to region um, is that Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, we have this social inclusion strategy that actually provides definition, clear definition for uh, um, for social entrepreneurship. And it says that social entrepreneurship is an approach that aims to recognize social problems and uses entrepreneurial solutions to bring about um, social change. It's quite important to involve representatives of social enterprises in preparation of legislation. It's also important to, to think about uh, social entrepreneurship in all the strategies of the state and regions, which was one of the very important things that uh, some of the people were stressing to me that it's very important for enterprises to be quite local and locally integrated and locally connected um, should be a lot of uh, a lot more financial support and and let's say political side of support to the umbrella and support organizations and uh, one of the things that was quite interesting to me that uh, there is no access for social enterprise to public contracts so We are, by the law, recognizing uh, three uh, kinds of entrepreneurship, uh, integration, so integrating people, minorities, and so on, general, so uh, the social, cultural, and educational purpose, and then we are uh, having the housing social enterprises. Um, what is, um, as well, um, important to know, and what is, I believe, um, like very common for the region, it that policy framework um, doesn't exist. It's very, I, I would say it's underdeveloped. So it, it exists, but not like, uh, uh, it's not really providing um, really um, real support and help for social enterprises. Um, all, all, almost like, um, all uh, policy do documents um, on all levels identify um, entrepreneurship as a concept uh, uh, for, for employment of people uh, from those um, groups uh, in the world that is really hard for me to um, pronounce. Yes, yeah, so, so uh, in, in, in the case of the, uh, this kind of basic association in the university, for example, uh, you need to register normally, like uh, um, a normal business. And uh, basically we had to hire you know, an accountant and, you know, just to, to uh, make everything uh, basically on the same level, on the same way as in the case of a normal profit, for-profit business. So this uh, makes it much more difficult, even just the registration and, you know, to the basic paperwork in, in, in this level. So uh, th this is another example why it's not so uh, popular in Hungary to do this kind of things. <laughs> Uh, 
now uh, the, uh, the, we were really waiting for several years for some manual how to create it and we get uh, something like this document about uh, the how to create social enterprise but it's only an intro information in uh, 14 uh, so pages like this it's uh, created by the agencies of Slovakia so the Slovak business agency under the government and with some other academies and social enterprises uh, in work there is a really huge number of social enterprises uh, uh, one study from 2018 says that there is um, uh, around 500 social uh, social enterprises in Serbia. And um, this is really, really uh, a good example and uh, proof that uh, social entrepreneurship is blooming and developing uh, in Serbia. Uh, when it comes to obstacles, there are a lot of obstacles in both of these uh, segments, uh, cross-sectorial cooperation or between Western Balkans and Visegrad funds. And I think that um, it all comes down to the lack of uh, political will to support the development of the sector, because uh, this is not really the sector that gains uh, huge political benefits take care of socially marginalized groups of citizens and this is not a new story since we have high rate of poverty and we have a high really high rate of uh, youth unemployment if i just can mention something i don't want to be negative but you know a lot of these funds are actually not targeting the small uh, enterprises at all and many times these uh, funded will be misused you know by uh, certain organizations which created by the purpose, you know, to get these funds. Yes, uh, these problems yeah. are here too, even with these finances, but more often we've got the problem in Slovakia that we don't use the finances from European Union uh, and by other inter, uh, inter national programs because uh, we don't know about them. So we have the lack of knowledge. There is no official or non-official network among schools, youth organizations, social enterprises and state institutions. And this is taken as a main obstacle even in other EU countries. And uh, this is an obstacle about the uh, creation, uh, meaningful cooperation between Visegrad region and uh, North Macedonia. And uh, when it comes to cross-sectorial cooperation in Serbia, um, it's existing, but it's really just s starting to form. It's not that well structured, unfortunately. That actually there is a very weak uh, cross-sectoral cooperation uh, between different sectors, uh, especially between local authorities and governmental institutions and the social enterprises, or also uh, uh, the universities. Uh, I was very pleased to hear that in Poland, that in Poland and in uh, Czech Republic also, uh, there are some, uh, uh, let's say, uh, opportunities for the students to also study social entrepreneurship, but there is not such thing here in Albania on the universities. Also mentioned before, there are, let's say, some, uh, but they can be counted with the numbers of the fingers, with the fingers of, uh, of the hand, that uh, there are some supporting program, programs in Albania. The, the good point uh, or the good thing is that uh, they at least try to encourage uh, the social enterprises, the social enterprise spirit to youngsters generally, and try to... Uh, uh, supply them with some skills, with some tools. 
and uh, also have worked with the advocacy process to improve this legal framework and so on. But I would still say, as uh, one of the participants mentioned before, that they are short-term projects. Civil or social initiatives, which, uh, uh, which has uh, some similar purpose, like the social entrepreneurs are uh, somehow founded by the government. And we can say what is a kind of paradox that basically the biggest social entrepreneurs in Hungary are the local governments. The government has a centralized uh, program, which um, is uh, for so-called providing funding for community workers. And the distribution of this uh, program is goes through the local governments and the local governments are able to hire a certain number of people who are responsible for a certain you know, community works within the municipality or in the municipality level or in the village, you know, or, you know, in, in, in the local framework. Analysis is that uh, young people do not recognize social enterprises as an opportunity, nor are they motivated to start their own stories due to all the folk and instability that follows these entities. So what I'm meaning by having a foggy situation. As for the last uh, that I consider very important to, to inform you about uh, the dissatisfaction uh, of Polish youngsters and Polish citizens in our sector, comes, of course, also from the problems that you can see in the streets in the last months. The intergenerational differences, uh, Poland the Hague is having an aging a society that still has a big vision of the past, and it's going, let's say, against the vision of openness of young people, and this is reflected in the politics of the country, and it has a, problem, a problematic reflection also on social entrepreneurship, the inequalities, not to mention, uh, you may say why the inequalities are having this. Well, uh, when, when there are inequalities, the social entrepreneurship system develops stereotypes and the stereotypes are reflected on the fact that some people have to leave the country, which means a problem for us. And then the unemployed that causes by COVID-19, the poverty is a problem in Poland. Poland passed to be from the Iron Curtain to a rapid increasing system where social level was important to help each other.